tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We got our now minty green and white NRG Innovations 350mm wheel on our Large Tech G920 base, as well as our NRG Innovations bucket seat, hydraulic handbrake, NRG Innovations decals everywhere, as well as our Logitech shifter. We're here today to mess around with this S14 that is sitting right there on those uh, HRE wheels. Going to be trying to do the uh, Long Beach section here on Forza Motorsports 7. So, as always, this is day 11 of my poster giveaway for the holiday season of my 25 Days of Christmas giveaway. So, if you guys want a chance to win the poster I'm about to show you guys, make sure you comment down in the comment section down below, as well as like this video and be a subscriber to the channel. So today's autograph poster card that I'll be giving away for this episode is that of Yuha Rintanen's beautiful Nexon Tires FD car. It's an amazing car. I love the paint scheme on it. He's uh, definitely a very aggressive style driver. So if you want a chance to win the Yuha Rintanen autograph poster card, make sure you comment down in the video down below. We do have our wheel cam set up as well as a pedal cam. So something a little bit different for you guys to see we don't want to go into the forza drivers cup what am i doing i mean we might we might do some of the forza drivers cup we did that last episode here we did some uh you know autocrossing that mustang and we're already set to go up in the long beach section the short seconds we're gonna get loaded into long beach so i hope you guys are enjoying you know these videos so far with these giveaways on these posters congratulations to all the winners and congratulations to future winners here on the channel make sure you guys check back later tonight for another giveaway announcement for the winner of the poster cards of the autographed fds so we're going to load here in the long beach we're going to try running the long beach section in this s14 we'll probably maybe switch it up but we're going to start with this s14 here Got the wheel cam all set up. We got the pedal cam set up. Give you guys a little pers different perspective of what's going on. Ooh, this thing already wants to get squirrely. I forgot this 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 S14 wants to get super squirrely all the time. There we go. Just just getting a feel for it right now. Ooh. I do like the way my the white wrap on this NRG wheel came out. Came out a lot better than I thought it was going to, so super excited about it with Evil Rabbit of 7. The NRG Innovations logo is on as well. All right, so we're going to try to run this Long Beach section. Don't know how it's going to go. I actually haven't run this section really that much at all here on Forza 7, so hopefully we don't completely make a fool of ourselves. So, all right, here we go. Long Beach, S14, full 900 degrees of rotation. There we go. Kicking in probably a little bit too early, but we'll go with it. Out to the wall, not as close as I want to. Ugh, tire wall, just a tap. Could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. So first time through, not completely, not horrible. Could have been a whole lot better, but not bad at all. Just a little tap on that uh, on that tire wall. Definitely would be docked some points for that. And that. It's instantly gripped up there for a second. This S14 is uh, pretty uh, tail happy. It can get a lot of points when they need it to. I'm not sure if it's perfectly exact for being precise like I should be here on Long Beach. But... Definitely a lot of fun. We got a V8 S14 boss kit that we will uh, probably dabble into. We run this Long Beach section trying to get our bearings straight just in case I, you know, run an ESDA this year. So we got run number two. See if we can make a better run this time. Just tap on that wall. We're good. Just tap. I mean, 
Other than the two wall taps, not a horrible run. I mean, uh, as I say, ugh, somewhat salvaged that run. So that wasn't that, that, that second run was a lot better than the first run. We're going to run this out here. Running around this short course real quick. Kick it in. Hold that e break. Oh, I gripped up. Which is surprising because I am running some uh, really narrow, pretty much not even sport tires, it runs street tires. So this thing loves to get sideways. So we're gonna try this again here. Try running this Long Beach section again. In this S14. All right, we go. Now that we're missing a tail light. It's a better entry. Oh uh, no! We gotta get one good run before we go somewhere. We have to get one good run here on Long Beach. Because I'm, you know, oh my gosh. I'm uh, doing completely uh, horrible. We're going to have to recover myself out of this. Probably head over to Maple Valley and rip this thing. Maybe Prague, actually. Send this thing sideways in Prague. Or maybe Rio. You know, we're going to get a good uh, drift lap section going before we end this episode off. So here we go. Last final attempt here in Long Beach section. I shouldn't spin the tires as much, but we're good. There we go. That's better. It's a bit of better and not as far as I want to go on that touch and go, but that's a bit better of a run. Save it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, I mean, other than that final part, I'll take it. Uh, I'll definitely take it. It was uh, a lot better than it could have been. So now we're going to switch this up. We're going to switch this to Drift. We go. I think we're going to go to Prague. Yep, let's try Prague. We're going to run this S14 at Prague. Definitely love Prague. It's got some really nice, uh, some really nice turns and some uphill sections as well. So... Definitely enjoying the look of the NRG Innovations wheel now. The white spokes probably make it very easier, to, very easier, much easier to see for you guys. All right, so here in Prague, S14, Logitech G920 base. Minty green and white NRG Innovations wheel in our NRG Innovations bucket seat. There we go. See if we can't get some good drift runs here. Send it in. Curb check, but we're good. Oh my gosh. I over clutched it. That was, that was totally bad, but we over clutched it, but we're going to try and redeem ourselves up here in the latter section of this track because I do love this uphill section for sure there we go sing out in fifth just tap nope that was more than just a tap that was way more than a tap go so let me know if you guys are liking the combination of the wheel cam and the pedal cam if you guys like it I'll keep doing it gives you guys a bit of a more perspective of what is actually going on underneath this rig with the reverse mount pedals we'll save that though Go, we'll break, we'll tap of the brakes. 
There we go. Yep. Keep it. We're gonna rotate that. Ugh. His S14 likes to over rotate like a uh, real quick though. I'm not sure if it has to do something with the turbo and the turbo lag causing it to spool real quickly when I don't want it to. It's gonna be a long e-break here, I have long breaks. Oh, we just missed those poles. I thought we were gonna tap them. We'll tap these though. Ah, excuse me. Definitely just having a little bit of a laid back day today. Just throwing some skids, you know, having a little fun with the S14. Probably not on my game 100% right now. But, we're having a little fun, so. Ooh. Something feels a little goofy in the front end of this car. I think I need to look in the settings a little bit more. Because that definitely uh, was not how it should have handled right there. But I do love the feel of the wheel here in Forza 7. The freeness that the wheel has when you want it to. It's a very good setup. You can just kind of let it go and it'll go where it needs to. I'm just going to monge down the straight unintentionally. All right, straight it up. We're going to see if we can get this long sweeper to start. You break that in nice and early on the brakes too. Clutch kick. Clutch out of it. Ooh, that curb messes up, but we're still good. I'm gonna hold that. There we go. Now, I'm kind of upset that we don't get points in this section, which I don't know why. There's a lot of sections in Forza 7 that you don't get points for, which we should be. So, we're trying to get in this uphill again, redeem ourselves from the last lap. Put it on the brakes. Nope. Same thing, I come in a little bit too hot, a little over jealous, and uh, over zealous, not jealous, and uh, kind of screwed up, but, so I think we're going to switch cars here, we're going to try the other variation of my, of an S14 that I have, we'll give that one a shot, and uh, see what we can do with that one, we're going to have to go select cars, where are you at, there you are, S14K, full boss kit. This one's V8 powered, so we should be able to get a little bit different. I think this one's on sport tires as well. So we should be able to get more higher speeds. Let's see what we can do with this one here at Prague. Got those short gear ratios in the first. All right, here we go. Kick it in. Definitely tell a grip level difference between this one and the other one. There we go. We should be able to get points through here. But I don't know why Forza doesn't let us get points through those sections. I honestly have no idea why, so see how this S14 handles the uphill. The jump drift. Stay angle. We're actually gonna stay off the wall this time with this one. Kick it back. Down shift, there we go. Yep, definitely like this V8 version a little bit better. Oh, tries to still bank those points even though we hit the wall. On that wall, just tap. There's a lot of taps here today, a lot of wall taps, but none of them are actually just a tap. These are a lot harder than I'd hoped they'd be. There we go. Flick it just with the brake, the lead brake, there we go. Go. Just using the power of that V8. Ooh. Thought we were going to lose that. Put that out. There we go. A little clutch kick. Too much. Save it. All right. We'll straighten it out. We'll save that. Didn't want to lose all of those points. This V8 version is definitely a lot better. The suspension setups are a little bit different but not that much they're very similar we're gonna hit that wall oh my gosh how did we not hit the wall but we're good this one just has v8 so it has a little more weight and this one doesn't have any weight reductions into it they don't want to believe it does they are different cars as well but they're very similar in tune there we go
Ooh, 360 for style. But we fail on the 360. I went into six instead of reverse. So that's kind of a fail on my part. But I hope you guys are enjoying this little lean back drift session here on Forza 7 with the introduction of the pedal cam as well. Hope you guys do like it. If you do, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you want us to keep seeing the pedal cams here on Forza 7, on Assetto, and on all the other racing games that I use the rig on. Let me see if we can't get this first turn right. There we go. Come right out there. Yep, that's better. A lot better. Ah! Wall. Oh, we're good. We got it. We're good. Unsettled car over the hill, but we still got it. No brakes to keep off the wall. There we go. Oh! I'm loving, I'm tipsy,